<sighs> All right, today it is Sunday. I'm supposed to be putting up a video um, today. I don't know if this will go up today. Um, depends how much time it takes me to edit because I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. But we'll work with it. I was trying to figure out what to do the video on today and considering it's close to the end of 2018, I figured I'd make it on New Year's resolutions. I'm the type of person that really doesn't mind like sharing stuff with basically anybody. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of share with you guys my New Year's resolutions and provide like some tips for those that are like making up their resolutions, all right? Just to make sure you guys hit those. Um, so I have a couple categories too, whether it be like fitness related or, okay, whether it be fitness related or uh, in, for life in general. Um, I'm gonna start off with the, I guess the fitness ones, um, because I think the life ones are more important. Um, so for my fitness resolutions, I have them all the way on here, right? A little notepad. Okay. The number one thing I have on there, this relates to just working out and coaching. Um, I really am trying to spend more time like in research, meaning that it's good that you coach and have that practical experience and work with athletes, but at the same time, you should be devoting a lot of that time into, you know, research. Meaning, you know, if you have like an hour to kill at night, go up nine on your laptop or wherever it is and go on, you know, PubMed or, um, whenever scientific journals are out there and see, you know, the, what research is out there about like new workout methods or um, the effects of certain exercises on different muscle groups and whatnot. So that's something I think me in general, I do spend some time doing that. Um, I don't think I spend enough as I should though um, for the realm that I'm in. Um, so one of my New Year's resolutions is to spend more time doing research. Another one I have on here is experiment more. So experiment meaning that experiment more on myself, um, try out new training methods on me, and that kind of goes along with the research aspect where if I see something on there, I'm like, oh, that works for this population, I wonder if it works for me, and kind of do that as well. All right, whether it be new workout regimen, nutrition, or whatnot, all right? Um, swimming is on there, because I suck at swimming, for those of you who don't know. So, <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try to, I know for a lot of blues, I'm trying to swim, um, like once or twice a week right now, obviously it's not enough. I'm really bad at it. I'm lucky if I can doggy paddle. I've gotten a lot better though since last year, which really isn't saying much, but I got a lot better. Um, so my goal is to just stay consistent with that. Like once or twice a week, it's hard for me to fit in a lot of times too, because my training and coaching schedule, but I really want to stay consistent on that. Um, so yeah, swimming is definitely on there as well. Uh, what else? This kind of goes along with the fitness realm and kind of, I guess, just business in general. I want to start growing my Instagram a little bit more, just like, um, because that's kind of how I advertise myself as an athlete in person, also how I advertise my um, services for coaching. Uh, so uh, I know I, you guys might know this, I post a daily ab circuit every day on my story. Um, I want to start trying to get that a little bit more uh, out there. I know a lot of athletes have been asking me about it and they love it, they've been doing it. So I started just posting the week itself on the uh, highlights um, on my Instagram page. So if you guys wanna check that out, just follow me at, at Mike Mielman. Yeah, at Mike Mielman. So it's really easy to follow. Um, so I'm gonna follow that. And then also I wanna kinda of grow up my YouTube um, channel as well by posting videos every Sunday. Um, just cause one, it's a way to kind of get my name out there a little bit more, another social media platform, another just platform to get advertised uh, myself as a person and my uh, services that I offer. Now on to the life uh, resolutions, all right? These are pretty simple. Um, they kind of like go hand in hand, really. Um, I have travel more is one of them. That's on my top list cause I feel like I'm still like buried like not buried, but I'm still, I feel like I'm still um, like holding on like to, you know, my one little area, uh, which is, no, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that works for some people and whatnot, but I kind of just want to experience the world a little more. So I want to travel a little bit more. I'm like, it doesn't even have to be, you know, to like another continent. Like it just, it has to be, you know, I want to go around and meet new people and whatnot, you know, just for like maybe, you know, even if it's for like a couple days out of the month or something like that, you know, every other month. So I really want us to, I mean, for that, I also need to save up money, which I'm not really that great at doing, but I'm working on it. I know my Miami trip in January is 
that'll be my traveling for January. Just kidding. And then I have to figure out what I'm doing the rest of the year. So, um, but yeah, travel more is one of them. Uh, I have on here, um, adventure, meaning don't take every opportunity you, um, are given to go and be adventurous. Like, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like anytime you have an opportunity, like, Hey, you want to go rock climbing this day or something like that. And if you're sitting on your couch, you know, like really lazy and like need a rest, like, you know, I just kind of like, don't want to get up. I'm very guilty of like me at night. If I'm like really tired and I kind of just want to chill out on my couch and like people ask me to come over or people ask me to do something. I'm like, oh, I kind of just want to lay here. And I feel like I like later on, I'm like, wow, I probably would have been a good decision if like, you know, I did that type of thing. So, um, adventures on there just to kind of take advantage of like a lot of opportunities that you're given. Um, and then I have outdoorsy stuff <clears throat> on here, meaning that like go for more hikes, explore outdoors a little bit more rather than kind of work out in the gym and use my fitness there, which is still awesome. I kind of, you know, want to, you know, get, use my fitness elsewhere where I, you know, if they're going for a hike, you know, or maybe like going camping for like a weekend and also with the travel more, you know, go to like the mountains or we're not in another state or something like that and see how that works out. You know, so, and that does it for the life ones. It's really not that much. I'm not like for New Year's resolutions. I'm not so much like, oh, new year, new me. I devote myself to being a better man on the inside and outside for the year. Like that's, if you didn't do that in 2018, you're not gonna do it in 2019, I'm sorry. <laughs> Another one I have on here, for those of you who didn't know, I competed in dance for 10 years. Um, and I feel like this, the past few months, I've kind of been breaking away from it a little bit more. Um, I used to like, at, when I was in my graduate year at school, I, um, I would like do every, like a freestyle session, like active recovery session every Thursday where I kind of just throw on some music and like, you know, just dance for an hour. And I feel like I'm kind of breaking away from that. And I don't want to have that to happen because considering that's like a, such a huge part of my life that was, I was dancing since I was, you know, like four years old up until like senior year of high school. Um, and I really, really don't want that to, you know, stray away. Um, so I want to try to make it a point to include those maybe like every Thursday, like I did in my graduate year. I'm just coming to the gym, you know, or like on a Sunday or something like that on my day off, put on music for like an hour and just, you know, see what happens. Um, so that does it for my news resolutions. Really not, I know it's like not that exciting, pretty boring. Um, but for me, I have no problem sharing that with you guys. So some key notes that I have here for those who are making news resolutions and um, need some help making them or have some, Need some advice for uh, following those. I have here, this is a huge one, right? Don't expect those resolutions to happen all in January. New Year's resolutions are, main thing for those is to last, in my opinion at least, last for the whole entire year. Meaning that, let's say if I have a New Year's resolution, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds in 2019. And for a lot of people, awesome, that's a great New Year's resolution. Good for you, you know, eat healthier, you know, try to be more active and whatnot. But a lot of people expect that to happen in January, which is just not gonna happen. It, I mean, it could happen, but it'd be extremely unhealthy for that to happen in the month of January. Chances are, if that all happens in January, then the rest of your months are gonna be miserable and you're gonna gain it right back, all right? Um, so don't expect it to happen all in one month, all right? You got 12 months to make everything happen. So take your time, right? Take it slow. Don't freak out if things aren't going your way within the first week of the new year, okay? You got plenty of time to make up for it. 52 weeks in a year, okay? Another one I have, oh God, I'm losing everything today. Be realistic on here. So by realistic, I mean, I, I don't want to, uh, let me word this the right way so I don't get a lot of hate right now. Yes, New Year's resolutions are to make, you know, big things happen, big changes happen and whatnot. And I want you guys to, you know, shoot for the stars, all right? But also, I want you guys to be realistic. Um, so, uh, don't make resolutions that you know uh, in the back of your head aren't going to happen. Like, if I made a New Year's resolution, like, you know what? Next year, I'm going to visit Australia. I'm going to visit Asia. I'm going to visit South, like... That's an awesome New Year's resolution. Travel more, awesome. But if I did that, then I'd probably lose all my money and go bankrupt, all right? So make them realistic. Ah, 
This is a good one. This applies to just life in general. Um, set your resolutions. Depends who you are, I guess. You know, this is my point of view for everything. So whatever I'm saying right now, I'm not really saying this, you have to do this. It's just my point of view for everything. So that way you guys understand that. Um, set resolutions for you. Meaning that I put selfish on here, but selfish, I think selfish has a bad, like the word itself has a bad connotation. Like there are times where you need to be selfish for you. Meaning that like you need to put yourself first. A lot of times people make resolutions where they, oh, I'm gonna do this more, or um, I need to, or they say I need to start, um, you know, running every day because I need to lose weight. Um, even though I hate running, I still have to do it because I need to do this. Like, you don't need to do it. There are other ways to do something, you know? This, the, the people sometimes do things not for them. They do things so they can be viewed better by other people and just like society as a whole. They think it's like necessary for them to do something because that's how it's supposed to be. But like you have to understand that everybody's you know their own person and you have to set your goals or resolutions based on what you want to do. Don't base it off of what society deems as the norm or don't base it off of these people on TV are telling me that this is the right thing to do and I need to follow that because they're saying that even though it's gonna suck and I really don't wanna do it, but I have to do it anyway because they're saying it's like, you know what I'm saying? Just like make resolutions for you, all right? Care about you, be, be quote unquote selfish a little bit just so you can make those resolutions, you know, meaningful and the ones that you're passionate about. It's really terrible to make a resolution for yourself and not really be passionate about that resolution or not really be excited, you know, even when that like goal is reached. You know, so what's the, what's the point of uh, making it happen if you're not enjoying the process, you know? And last but not least, um, another one I have on here for your resolutions, key thing or just a tip is find a buddy. Meaning that if you wanna make a resolution and some other person or your friend or family member it wants to make the same resolution and so you guys wanna, you know, uh, eat better. Um, then be in it together, meaning that uh, try to see if you can kind of like communicate a little bit, have a little friendly competition and whatnot. Um, and it's a lot easier to make something happen if you're doing it with someone. I say this all the time with run like running is a perfect example. Like running sucks alone. Like I ran cross country in four years, and the only reason why I liked it so much is because. Uh, I ran with people in a group every single day. And like when you're running with people, you kind of forget that you're like actually running, if you're having like a conversation the whole time, or even if you're not having a conversation, if you're going at a hard pace, that group kind of just like pulls you along a little bit <clears throat> and you're kind of forced to latch onto them a little bit. So having someone to do that with is really cool. Hi baby, how are you? I'm actually dog sitting this weekend um, for a couple Huskies. They're actually really, really cool dogs here. <clears throat> there's one and Luna there's another one too and he's uh out back but watch what happens when I do this ho here you go ho <laughs> yeah they they crave attention I don't mind it though I love dogs all right let me set that back up cool um all right, I think that does it for New Year's resolution stuff. Oh, one more resolution I have. Let me write it down real quick, actually. That is right. Besides seven days a week, I will now be going twice a day for seven days a week. No, but in all seriousness, uh, you know, for those who are like doing any type of dieting and nutrition stuff or uh, fitness, take it slow. Um, don't expect all your changes like you ever see, like, you know, you guys know the deal where you go to the gym and then January and February is where kind of everybody like crowds in the gym and tries to get everything done. And then after that, then it kind of trickles off. Like try to make it worthwhile so you don't try to rush into everything that first month or two, you know? You got the whole year to make it happen. 12 months, 52 weeks, 365 days, all right? Um, don't expect those changes to happen all in one month, okay? Take your time, take it slow. It'll pay off, trust me, all right? Um, thank you guys for watching the video today. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't done so already to get those daily ab workouts for 2019. All right.
get those daily ab workouts in. Um, and like the video if you liked it. If you guys want to share your resolutions in the comments, then go for it. I'd love to hear them, okay? If you guys want any help or tips or anything like that for your resolutions, then again, love to hear it. Um, I'll try to answer back to you guys. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I've been rambling a lot. Hope you guys have a great new year and I will see you next year.